Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will try to demonstrate uh, how to connect the uh, Sigma pumps, prominent pumps, with uh, our uh, compact controller device and uh, make the arrangement for uh, automatic uh, dosing based on a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Uh, the first thing that uh, the customer has to make sure that he have done is the uh, proper installation. So, apart from the electrical connection for the devices, uh, we have the uh, connection between the uh, pump and the controller. And this is normally supplied or called as the universal cable. And uh, the universal cable comes... Uh, of, uh, we have two types of universal cables, the 5-pin and the 3-pin universal cable. So this is a 5-pin universal cable and uh, we have uh, terminated the, the required uh, cables and we cut the other uh, two. So here you have the brown, the, more, the important ones are the brown and the black and then the blue. Uh, at the uh, controller side, uh, you need to terminate this universal cable using the uh, brown and black together and the blue alone. So if you look at the, uh, from the pump side, it's a normal plug at the second port. So normally you have the, uh, the second port is for the automatic control. You just plug it. You have to make sure that uh, the brown and the black will will take the signal from the uh, uh, compact controller along with the blue and pass it to the controller. But the brown and black has to be together. If they are not together, then the pump will go to pause mode. This is a very important note. So what we normally do is we combine these two uh, terminals and we plug them at uh, uh, XA2 so XA XA1 XA1.2 will take the terminals the brown and the black together as we have done them here in this way and then we have XA1 and this is the positive uh, output of the uh, milliamp signal and this will be carried by the blue terminal of the universal cable. So after you have set the uh, made the uh, proper connections now we can explain the uh, setting of the controller. The controller uh, at the compact controller you have to do two types of settings at the compact controller side and the controller of uh, the pump. You have to make sure that both uh, are speaking the same language if I can say it in this way. At the controller side so just to show you the the, the way how to, to uh, set the controller so from the basic screen, the first screen, we can press on the menu button and then you have a list of uh, setting possibilities. So our concern is the control, uh, the control uh, parameter. If you put the arrow at the control parameter and you press the OK button, then you have the uh, parameters of the uh, control settings. In this case, we will be uh, looking at the uh, the control type. The control type is dosing, and then the set point. So the important thing is to define the set point. So you go to set and click OK, and then you define the, your set point. So let's say we will do it here. Uh, uh, Five hundred ninety millisiemens. So millisiemens is 590 micro siemens you have to be, uh, to notice that the, the the unit of conductivity here is milli siemens which is uh, equal to 1000 micro siemens 
So this set point uh, is now 590 micro siemens or 0.59 milli siemens. So then we press OK. And then uh, you can also uh, configure the uh, the type of control or the uh, profile of control. So you can uh, say the type. Here it is P. This means uh, proportional. You can ha also have a manual or PID or P. The PID will give smooth curve and slow uh, response to the uh, fluctuation. The P will give uh, faster response to the change but not smooth at the final uh, tuning stage. We will keep it as P but the customer has the can decide at sight which which type of uh, control profile he requires. Then we go with the uh, escape and then we need to set one more thing which is the output and the output the first two parameters we keep them because this controller can uh, give a frequency output and a milliamp output at the same time. So frequency output we will not connect the pump uh, using this uh, feature. We will use the milliamp output and here you need to make sure that the setting is dosing. So when you go inside by pressing OK you can have different types. You can have manual or uh, correction value or measured value or you can put it off but for our purpose we have to put it at dosing and then we click OK. Then we need to uh, define the range. So the range uh, from 0 to 20 milliamp or from 4 to 20 milliamp. Normally uh, our dosing pumps are by default set to 4 to 20 milliamp so it makes sense that you go here and select the range as 4 to 20 milliamp and then the other parameters you don't need to change them you keep them as is now that's it that's what all, all what you have to do at the controller side we have to do the settings now at the uh, pump side so at the pump side the main thing is to make sure that the signal uh, received at the uh, control port is the same as per the setting. So we set 4 to 20 milliamp signal output from the compact conductivity controller. So this means we have to make sure that we set first the mode. Uh, the operation mode normally is manual. So we have, you see, it's at the manual. The first thing we do is we change it to analog and then we press OK. And then, uh, OK, let me explain how I came to the manual of the setting manual. So normally, if you are at the main screen, you you press on the, the pump should be on stop position, stop, and then you press the P, and then you are in the uh, uh, setting manual. So the mode, as I explained, we have to put it uh, analog, and then the setting, we go to the setting, and then we click OK, and then we define the analog input signal. Then we click standard and then we make sure it is 4 to 20 milliamp and then we click OK and then we are good to move. Now uh, to be able to simulate so we have set a, a parameter of uh, a set point of uh, 590 micro siemens and then uh, we put the pump on uh, automatic mode. If I start to pump now And then I start simulating. Okay. 